Uh, hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. Hope you all are uh, doing well. Uh, so today in this uh, recording or in this video, I'll be uh, discussing about or explaining about the modern experience and the classic experience. So we all know about the classic experience. Uh, we have uh, the, uh, we have been working in UiPath uh, more or like two or two more uh, two years. Uh, so since then uh, we are using classic experience and recently UiPath version 20.4 uh, from above that version uh, is providing a new experience new uh, front end uh, in uh, studio uh, which is called as modern experience so now the question comes what is the difference between these two so here it goes uh, before we jump into studio let's uh, just have a brief or overview of uh, what is uh, the panel looks like when it doesn't have the modern experience so this is how the panel looks like uh, the activity panel uh, specifically looks like when we do not have the modern experience so we have a two click activity but when modern experience is enabled this is how it looks like the first option you see here it's a click and this classic experience uh, I have two uh, click items. So this is the above one is the modern experience as well as the classic experience. So now let's go into UiPath Studio and see how we can enable this too. Okay, so I am in my workspace. Uh, if you go to the project panel uh, and click on the settings option, now if you see here in the general, if you see here modern experience is that. And this is no if you enable it reload uh, before reloading it let me cancel and there's a question mark it click on it enable this option to use modern design experience next time you reload this current project so let's do that okay let's reload it now let's wait till the workspace is ready and it is adding the dependency okay okay let's wait a few more minutes a few seconds now it's done let's just go back and cross check in the general yes it is uh, marked as yes now go to your uh, activity panel and type click any of the UI elements so we see the uh, modern experience right so how do we ensure that this is the modern experience so if you click on the filter option you see the show classes which means as of now the classic is not uh, it, the classic activity is not been shown here if you click select this then here it comes the classic uh, or uh, experience uh, activity as well so in general you can have both classic as well as modern experience in a project okay now uh, this is one way of enabling the modern experience the other way of uh, enabling modern experience is to go to your setting and design and there is a use modern for new projects click if this if you enable this and what what is going to happen basically is that whenever uh, you create a new project uh, whatever the template it may be it have a default uh, uh, experience as modern experience but for the current project if you need to enable this you need to go uh, to the settings panel uh, from the project sorry uh, from the pa project you need to go to settings and then you need to enable it so this is about how you can enable the modern experience in your workspace now what is the difference between these two so there is a uh, documentation for this. If you, uh, I'll share this document uh, link in the below description. So as I mentioned earlier, UiPath 2020.4 20 introduces UI automation next stack of the package that delivers new way uh, in which you identify, configure, and verify uh, target element with new activities or an all-in-one recorder and a new data strapping wizard. So this is we just i just explained how you enable and uh, disable it now the difference between these two is mainly about 
the uh, activities where for uh, uh, modern experience who have these uh, activities uh, that means uh, let's say uh, consider this one check app state so this one activity is it contains all of this the on element appear uh, the on element appear on element vanish on uh, on image appear all these activity which were individually um, mentioned in the classic activity are now combined into one called app check app, uh, app state so these are all uh, basically they combined all of the act, uh, different activities in the classic which work similar way into one activity another one uh, difference is that with the recording so in the modern experience you have web or uh, app and computer vision recording but in classic you have uh, classic doc uh, desktop web image native etc now there is one more advantage of using uh, modern ex- experiences that you have you get to have a hold on object repository so what is the object repository basically is uh you it it acts act as a uh, document uh, object model uh, wherein you can store and reuse your ui element general uh, it's a general uh, description of what is the object uh, repository so with this uh, object repository you can eliminate re uh, capturing the same uh, selectors again and again in your entire uh, project or in your process so go through this i'll share this uh, recording uh, or i'll share this link as well in in the uh, below description uh, so that covers the uh, differences or, or the explain explanation and how do you enable modern and classic experience hey, thank you for watching if you haven't subscribed please do uh, like and share um, have a great day goodbye